We've all experienced it. We are traveling down the highway when something so weird, so strange passes us by that we perform a double take. What exactly is it? Who created it? And in some cases, why would you buy that? We are talking about automobiles like the Pontiac Aztec, an unforgettable beast. What was the point of buying a cello unless you were necessary to bring it with you at all times? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for joining us today. Today we will be speaking about mini and strange cars that you will want to ride once. Please watch the entire video to figure out all the details. And guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click the bell notification. Alright then, let's get started. Many vehicles on this list may leave you wondering what their designers were thinking, whereas others would appeal to your sense of humor. Regrettably, not all of them are accessible to the public. So you are out of luck if you fall out of love with P-Car. Chevrolet El Camino The Chevy El Camino was a one-of-a-kind attempt to combine a coupe and a pickup truck. When it first appeared in 1958, the El Camino didn't have the ideal start in terms of market share, and the Chevy Marquis even dropped it after only two years. Nonetheless, in 1964, Chevy reintroduced the El Camino with the iconic body shape. The 64 El Camino, with its 300 horsepower V8, was a work of American engineering. The coupe truck hybrid also had a design that was much more in line with the rest of the Chevrolet pickup lineup. Whereas the El Camino was discontinued after the 1987 model year, it did impact the design of a few later vehicles. The most recent addition is the all-new 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. The difference between these two semi-pickup trucks is what they're equipped with. Santa Cruz's interior is significantly more SUV-like than the old El Camino's. Picar. Nothing would ever push you to eat your vegetables more than this flamboyantly green automobile designed by Bird's Eye, a frozen vegetable seller for a 2005 television commercial. It is a hodgepodge car designed by Asylum, a London-based firm. It is sometimes referred to as the Volkswagen P-Car. The P-Car is built on the chassis of an off-road go-kart and features. Volkswagen Beetle highlights and a Honda motor. However, it lacks gears. It has a maximum speed of about 60 miles per hour and was designed to fall apart during advertisement intentionally. If you want to give peas a try, the P-Car is said to be on exhibition at the Unilever Ice Cream and Frozen Foods Company in Walton on Thames, England. Austin Mini Moke 1964 the Austin Mini Moak, which resembled a U.S. Army Jeep, was developed in 1964 for the British Army and eventually discarded because of its poor ground clearance. In England, Portugal and Australia, a front-wheel drive version was available. While it was popular with some, the British Motor Corporation discontinued manufacturing this model after only four years. The Austin Mini Moak lacked doors and a hardtop and it doesn't provide much else in terms of utility or entertainment. The light off-road vehicle was promoted for recreational and farm usage, but just 10% of the 14,500 units produced were sold in the United States. Later, Moke models with more comfortable seats and better ground clearance were far more popular. The Moke is now available as an all-electric automobile with prices of less than $21,000. The Austin Mini Moke lacked doors and a hardtop, and it doesn't provide much else in terms of utility or entertainment. The light off-road vehicle was promoted for recreational and farm usage, but just 10% of the 14,500 units produced were sold in the United States. Later, Moke models with more reclining chairs and better ground clearance were far more popular. The Moke is now available as an all-electric automobile with prices less than $21,000. Evija Lotus While the Lotus Evija may not be considered strange by everyone, its James Bond style and $2-plus million price tag place it in the odd and out-of-reach category for most. Strangely, or fortunately, invisibility and rocket propulsion is not included in the price. 
as a dedication to its Lotus type number, just 130 of these all electric vehicles will be produced. Even though it lacks James Bond's rocket, it does have 2000 horsepower and can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 3 seconds. It is also the thinnest EV hypercar ever produced, weighing over 3,700 pounds. The back has two Venturi chambers with red LED lights creating a stunning exit. If the design wasn't eye-catching, the inside includes exposed carbon fiber, a honeycomb texture and a square steering wheel. Unfortunately, this beast would not be street legal in the United States. 1970 AMC Gremlin when you can buy a car, you can afford two gremlins. One gremlin advertising boasted. The question is, why do you want to purchase even one? The gremlin was simply an AMC Hornet with the back hacked off in a hasty attempt to keep ahead of the competition. The result is an awkwardly shaped, ill-named subcompact car that has made an indelible impact. The gremlin which debuted on April 1st, was available in two and four passengers configurations. Instead of a hatchback or even a hatchback, the cargo area in the two-door version is accessible by lowering the rear window. The four-door model had a fixed back window, although it's difficult to think there is no cargo space left after combining extra seats. It managed to sell both Bill Clinton and George W. Bush apparently possessed one at one point, and it was widely reviled and technically hated. Fiat Multipla 1999 In terms of President Clinton, 1999 saw his indictment, the launch of Napster, the Pontiac Aztec, and this. The Fiat Multipla is possibly the only car that can compete with the Aztec's uninviting exterior. It was never manufactured in the United States and had two rows of three seats, each in a boxy design that provided ample cargo capacity. The haphazardly arranged headlights give it a strangely insect-like aspect and are characterized as a muffin top. So long as you are not too ashamed to be seen driving this car, the two big windows provide a terrific view. If you wish to keep your belongings out of sight from the massive windows, it also has two glove boxes. This variant of the Multipla was discontinued in 2003, which came as a little surprise to many. Weiner Mobile Oscar Mayer Seeing the hot dog car on the road is bound to generate a lot of enthusiasm, particularly if you have children under 12. Carl Mayer constructed the first Oscar Mayer Weiner Mobile in 1936 as a marketing ploy. There are currently six Weiner Mobiles on the road at any given moment, though Oscar Mayer plans to retire the fleet in 2020 because of the epidemic. What would it be like to handle a 27-foot hot dog with epidemic regulations? Each Weiner Mobile starts as an Isuzu NPR medium-duty company truck with a Chevrolet L96 6.0-liter V8 engine, six soft ketchup, and mustard-colored seats are available on the inside. Unfortunately, it isn't filled with hot dogs, but you might be able to get a plush whiner or a sought-after whiner whistle. The best part? On Oscar Mayer's website, anybody can schedule a tour from the whiner mobile. The Faraday Future FF91 Faraday Future, a California-based electric vehicle business started in 2014, intends to produce its flagship vehicle the FF91 in July 2022. This ultra-modern luxury car would have three electric motors, 1,050 horsepower, and a range of more than 300 miles per charge. It is projected to cost around 180,000 US dollars. If you believe electric equals weird on this list, think again. The vehicle's unconventional characteristics like an intuitive AI make the FF91 genuinely unique. An FFID profile stores a driver's settings and material selections and gets more straightforward with each drive. The back seats are developed with NASA's neutral body posture, reclining for the best body weight alternative. Massage therapy is available on the ventilated seats. FF vehicles are also the first on the market to include a full HEPA system. 
ultimately the futuristic aesthetic ground effect lighting that could rim the entire car and automated rear hinged doors would undoubtedly turn heads. Signet Aston Martin According to the European Union's new fuel economy rules, the Aston Martin Signet was manufactured between 2011 and 2013. The tiny city automobile is based on the Skion IQ and weighs just 2,200 pounds. While an Aston Martin normally costs well into the six figures, a Signet could be yours for around $50,000 at the time. While it is developed on the IQ, it has a distinct head and headlights and the distinctive Aston Martin front grille. On the other hand, the Signet is propelled by a 1.3-litre four-cylinder engine with 97 horsepower and a top speed of only 106 miles per hour, the same as the 1921 Liat Helica. While Aston Martin intended to build 4,000 of these small cars, just 300 were sold worldwide. Nonetheless, if you want to buy an Aston Martin but can't afford the six figures, the Signet is a collector's item nowadays and can be acquired for less than $100,000. 1973 Cadillac Fleetwood 75 Modern car buyers looking for a vehicle that accommodates more than five or six people usually consider a three-row SUV or a minivan. In 1973, however, buyers had another option, the nine-passenger Cadillac Fleetwood 75 Sedan. Although the Fleetwood 75 was promoted as a limousine, it was also advertised to regular purchasers as a passenger car. It is the longest normal production automobile ever, measuring 250 inches, almost 21 feet, excluding those limos. Equipped with a 7.7-litre 472 CID 16-valve OHV V8, this beast accelerates 60 miles per hour in 11.9 seconds. It is said to have a smooth ride. Although the interior was roomy, how could it not be? and elegant for the time. The Fleetwood series was extended until the 1980s, although the 75 still holds the title for car you would not want to park in a tiny car slot. Hope Mobile World leaders and other VIPs frequently travel in vehicles that have been highly modified and fortified. The Pope Mobiles, particularly equipped cars that the Pope uses for public engagements, are the most well-known. Each Pope mobile has bulletproof glass, a handrail that permits the Pope to stand while driving, and easy entry and egress steps. Many of the Pope mobiles are customized Mercedes-Benz M-Class and G-Class SUVs. Although Fisker said in 2021 that it would create a unique version of the Fisker Ocean to be the Pope's latest automobile. The Fisker Ocean Pope mobile would be the first all-electric emission-free papal vehicle. A massive contemporary all-glass cupola will provide Pope Francis with access and transparency. Fisker co-founders Henrik Fisker and Dr. Gita Gupta Fisker met with Pope Francis privately to submit their designs, and the redesigned Pope Mobile is slated to be deployed in 2022. Tesla Cybertruck The Cybertruck is described by Tesla as greater utility than a truck with more acceleration than a sports car. The car will be equipped with one, two or three electric motors, allowing it to go from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. Once accessible, the car might be one of the finest vehicles on the road. The exoskeleton will comprise ultra-hard 30X cold rolled stainless steel structural skin. In contrast, the windows would be made of Tesla armor glass, an ultra-strong glass and polymer-layered combination that can withstand impact force. With a towing capability of over 14,000 pounds and 100 cubic feet of outside storage, Tesla has undoubtedly nailed utility. Consequently, Tesla postponed the Cybertruck's debut until late 2022. 1942 Lyft Electric Many people feel that electric vehicles are the future. However, alternatively fuel vehicles have already existed in the past. The Lyft Electric, the Electric Egg concept car, was designed by product designer Paul Arzens, but only one was built. Arzens 
who constructed railway locomotives and automobiles, created an electric vehicle in response to petroleum scarcity during World War II. The three-wheeled vehicle includes an electric motor and battery pack with a range of 63 miles and a top speed of 44 miles per hour. The car's bodywork was made of aluminium and plexiglass. The automobile weighed only 771 pounds with the motor and battery. The odd design provided a 270-degree perspective of the surrounding world. The car is always displayed in the Saiti Dale automobile in Mulhouse, France. Amphicar 1961. Despite what we witnessed in the Jetsons, flying cars are still a long way off. In 1961, meanwhile, you could buy an automobile that simultaneously functioned as a boat. The 1961 Amphicar features a pair of propellers capable of cruising at up to seven speeds. The car's front tires served as rudders, directing the vehicle through the water. It was manufactured in Germany beginning in 1961. With over 4,000 produced during its production run, this was the most successful non-military amphibian vehicle. More would be purchased, but the Amphicar was expensive and had poor endurance both on and off the waters. Chrysler Turbine 1963 it could be considered an early alternative fuel car. A pair of turbines propelled the 1963 Chrysler turbine. It might be powered by jet fuel. Turbine bronze color was used on all 200 two-door coupes produced. Its turbine engines produced 130 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque. Rather than selling the vehicle, Chrysler gave it to 200 carefully selected families for testing. Nine are now available. The technology wasn't ever employed in a dealership sold production vehicle. Polaris Slingshot The 2020 Polaris Slingshot is difficult to categorize. Even provincial motor vehicle officers are unsure if the three-wheeled open-air vehicle is a car or a motorcycle. Whatever you call it, the Polaris Slingshot is a thrill to ride with excellent handling and powerful acceleration. The Polaris Slingshot has two widely separated front wheels and a single rear wheel. A cover is provided, but riding a Slingshot is mostly an open-air experience. To be legal in some countries, you must wear a motorbike helmet. It is compatible with either a manual or perhaps an automatic gearbox. It has car-like technologies like cruise control, automatic climate control seats, and a 7-inch touchscreen display. Mercedes Simplex Vision there aren't many concept cars on this list, but the 2019 Vision Mercedes Simplex had to be included. Its design pays tribute to the first Mercedes race car, which debuted in 1901, but has been updated with modern technology and materials. The authentic Mercedes 35 PS race car abandoned carriage-like designs favoring a front engine configuration with the engine low in the chassis and a two-passenger bench behind. In place of a grille, the Vision Mercedes Simplex has a digital display with a rose gold surround evocative of the original car. The screen can show either the original Mercedes logo in script or relevant data about just the vehicle's alternative fuel engine and transmission. 1981 DeLorean DMC-12 most people know it as the DeLorean, but the car made popular by the film franchise Back to the Future is generally recognized as the DeLorean DMC-12. The stainless steel sports car designed by renowned automobile designer Giorgetto Giugiaro still looks professional 40 years later. John DeLorean was a high-flying executive at General Motors who departed the firm and left behind a tell-all book. He guaranteed the world a one-of-a-kind sports automobile and by 1981, he had provided the first models of the wedge-shaped DMC-12. Approximately 9,000 DeLoreans were constructed before the company's collapse in 1982 due to legal and commercial issues. A 2.8-liter V6 powered the automobile to the 88 miles per hour required by Doug Brown's flux capacitor to send Marty McFly on his time voyages and back to the future. 
the DeLorean DMC-12 will return in 2021 as a continuance model made from fresh and used parts. Expect the restored vehicle to come with a new engine and unimaginable features in 1980. Isn't time travel a great thing? Well, that's all we have today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.